Hey everyone, welcome back to Asim's. So, as promised in today's video, I have come up with the science passing package for the year 2021. That is, this passing package is with respect to the coming exam, coming board exam in June 2021. So, this passing package is target 50. That means, whatever content I have given you over here and with the marks allotted, it accounts for a total of 50 marks. So, that is the reason why the name target 50. Now, this content, whatever I have prepared, this is by analyzing the model question papers which we have received, you know, hardly a week back by the KCEB site. Okay. So, by analyzing those two papers, we have come up with this passing package. So, let's get started now. The first and foremost here is the diagrams. Okay. This time diagrams have got a total of 16 marks. Okay. If you remember last year's pattern, it was 12 plus 4. That is 12 marks for, for diagram and 4 marks were for the diagram related questions. You have got, you know, uh, questions like diagrams were given and questions were asked on it. But this time you don't have that. You are going to get a total of 16 marks diagrams only. So it's actually an advantage for the students. Next comes laws. Okay. A total list of laws, you know, complete explanation of it I have already done before. Okay. I can assure you two marks, two to three marks guaranteed law related questions. Okay. They have directly asked laws. They have asked, uh, you know, mathematical equation. And in fact, they have asked more than one law in one paper according to the model question paper. Okay. So, for the the link for this loss i'll just be giving in the description box if you need it okay we have already prepared on it the next is the problems yes this is you know as usual in every science paper we have got problems and for us we have got problems only from electricity and light so electricity we do have the entire chapter but light you know it's deducted to the only refraction part so we have got problems only from the uh, lens part that is related to the lens formula, the power and all. So, together all these problems will account for 7 marks. You can analyze both the papers. In both the papers, the problems are a total of 7 marks. Okay. So, it includes both the smaller ones, the simpler ones as well as the larger ones. It's not that only one question is asked for 7 marks. No. You have got questions in 4 marks. Then you have got in 2 mark questions also. Then... Questions related to ozone and dams. See, if you remember from the chapter, our environment, they have deducted the entire portion, only the ozone part is left. So, you know, this gives an uh, this gives us an upper hand that we know now that there will be a question related to this. That is the reason why they have kept that particular portion only. <coughs> then we have got dam related questions. Uh, this is from the very last chapter. Uh, sustainable natural resources okay so they either they're going to give a choice in both of this or they're going to ask you know two mark questions one mark questions and all here and there so a total from this two topics you might get a total of three to five marks okay three to five marks are definitely guaranteed for this related questions so i'll be keeping a low profile and i'll just you know for calculating here we have only used this three marks and not the five marks because this is, we are not assured of it. So, three marks I can assure you. Next, from the chapter periodic classification, a very important chapter with respect to your exam point of view. So, if you analyze, this time they have asked limitations. Okay, limitations on uh, new lands and octaves, whatever statement they have given. So, here from this chapter, so far they have been only asking the, you know, application based questions related to your periodic table. This time they might ask that or they might ask something like limitation statements and achievements of either Mendeleev or modern periodic table or new lands and you know Doberiner's laws so you know you are supposed to be thorough with the periodic classification that is the trends of the periodic table along with that the limitations and achievements of each of the laws given okay so that is very much necessary so a total of three marks will be allotted over here so once again here you know see uh, here the 
whatever the part to study is you know limited and we are assured of it so you know the three marks is like a boon for us next okay so the questions related to any of this electron dot structure molecular and structural formula okay from this two together a total of four marks might be allotted they might ask you electron dot structure itself or they might ask you molecular and structural formula only so these are two different points but still they come under the similar category that is the reason why i have kept it together and i have allotted their marks together that is four marks so if you see electron dot structure we have got you know electron dot structure for covalent compounds as well as for ionic compounds so for ionic compounds it comes under metals and non metals chapter and for covalent compounds it comes under carbon and its compound so you need to be thorough with both of them then comes a molecular and structural formula so here to i have done already a separate video on electron dot structure as well as this so if you need it i'll just leave the link in the description box so you know you can just go and directly access it <clears throat> then next This is from carbon and its compound. Okay, a uh, questions related to homologous series and reactions from carbon and its compound. Yeah, so this is very much important. If you tell me, okay, so you have got reactions over here. Okay, you have got addition reaction. You have got substitution reaction. Okay, so all those things are actually important because they have asked directly questions from there. so that is the reason why a total of 3 marks will definitely be allotted from this part reactions and homologous series they are completely application based question because they will be giving you you know they will be they will be asking you to explain why it is a homologous series you have to give the reasons there okay and you have to give the general formula over there so you need to be thorough with the concept in order to write the answer okay so here once again 3 marks then comes next the punnett square or the checkerboard okay so this is from your heredity and evolution chapter yes definitely three marks will be given for punnett square or checkerboard whatever you prefer to call it okay and a new addition over here experiments a total of five marks will be given over here so either they might be asking you principle and working of either generator or motor or they have been asking you know experiments on focal length finding and all so i'll be giving a list of those experiments what we are supposed to study okay later on in my next coming videos inshallah but so far okay i can assure you that experiments will have a total of 5 marks in your chapter so this time this is a new addition so far they have not ever never ever asked experiments in the question papers you know but this time definitely it is there so we need to keep our eyes on this and the last one which is actually a wide perspective so definitions and differences okay four marks will definitely be given over here okay but we aren't sure from which chapter exactly they are going to be asked but here once again i'll be giving you the list of possible definitions list of possible differences so this might be actually a plus point for you for the studying purpose so that was about your science passing package and as i have you know they have been asking me frequently about the diagrams what are the diagrams we are supposed to be practicing so i have made a list of the diagrams what we are supposed to practice so i'll be giving you this now so you know you might it will be actually helpful to you to know what to leave and what you are supposed to study okay so i have uh, you know divided all the diagrams based on our three parts that is part physics part chemistry and part biology so we are going to start with part physics okay and as you can see here i have you know further divided it based on your part 1 and part 2 book along with the page numbers so that it becomes easier for you to access them so the first one that is part 1 book table 12.1 it's on page number 97 Okay, so I'll be showing you together. Yeah. So this is the table we are talking about. Okay, and then the next one is Figure twelve point one, page number ninety four. Okay, this is the one. Then comes twelve point two, page number ninety eight. Yes, this is the one that is you know for the Ohm's law. Okay, page number ninety eight. Then comes page number one hundred and four. We have got two diagrams, twelve 
12.6 and 12.7 that is for resistors in series and resistors in parallel so these are the circuit diagrams what we are supposed to study then next comes from the next chapter okay and it's on page number 121 okay so it's 13.6 a so this is 13.6 a okay so when you're see important note what you need to remember here is you need to remember the names of it so you have got lengthy lengthy names over here so please see to it that you are you actually identify them with the help of the names okay so the next one is on page number 126 that is this one electric motor and then comes 130 that is supposed to be your electric generator yes okay so this is your electric generator so that was about your part one book next comes your part two book so in your part two book the first one is on page number 90 to 91 okay so we are talking about the ray diagram see here 10.16 six diagrams we have got so four are on this page and two are on this page then once again 10.17 here we have got two diagrams and it's on page number 91. This is for the concave lenses. Okay. It's on the same page number 91. Okay. So that was about your physics ones. Then comes your chemistry ones. Okay. So for the chemistry you don't have any diagrams from your part 2 book. Only from your part 1 book. Okay. So we are going to only go through the part 1 book. And the first one is on page number 19. So this is the one. Okay, on page number 19, figure 2.1. Next one is figure 2.3. It's on page number 22. Okay, so not so far behind. So this is the one. Then next is figure, okay, from the next chapter, this is, okay, figure 3.3, page number 43. So page number 43. And this is the one what we are talking about. Then comes figure 3.8 on page number 48. Yes, this is the one. And the last one, figure 3.12, it's on page number 53. That is the electrolytic refining of copper. Okay, so that was about your chemistry. Now coming to the biology part. Okay, so here it's from the part 1 book, page number 72. Yes, so we are talking about the uh, you know schematic representation of your heart then comes figure 6.13 page number 76 this is the one okay and the next one page number 77 there is this nephron then from the next chapter 7.1 a okay we are talking about neuron here okay this is the 7.1 a then comes 7.3 it's on page number 84 we are talking about human brain and next part 2 book okay that is that's all for your part 1 book from the part 2 book you have got two diagrams 8.7 and 8.8 it's on page number 44 and 45 respectively so this is 8.7 and 8.8 .8. so that was only for your diagrams okay uh, most of the diagrams over here especially biology diagrams have already been done you know in our in my previous videos i have already done it so if you need the links i'll just give it a below at the you know in the description box once again so you can access it so that's it for today in case if you need anything else or if there is anything if i left out you can just leave me a comment at the bottom and i'll get back to you as soon as possible thank you for watching